in the flesh normally as of lately i've been doing a lot of voiceovers and stuff like that but i said let me get up in your ass in person reaching out to y'all i know i'm wearing a lot of damn orange orange background orange jacket with the light mr sun sun mr golden sun please shine down on me turn your brightness down okay yeah it's a lot turn it down turn the brightness down anyway we are here to talk about jamie fox i just feel like it's a lot going on with y'all as you all guys already know jamie fox the jamie fox from a liver color to he play ray charles he was an ali this man has been on our tv screens well basically for my entire life i ain't gonna tell y'all my age but basically for my entire life he has been behind the scenes and in the forefront baby the jamie fox had to be hospitalized in april and I guess he was he was trying to keep it secret really at the end of the day just because we love jamie fox and he has been a household name for decades and on our television for decades that doesn't mean we are entitled to know what happened to this man now i'm gonna get to y'all because some of y'all are being really weird y'all be a word it's being real weird okay um so his daughter admitted that things you know he was sick i don't think she really go went into detail she said that he is recovering then she said that he was playing pickleball now i know what balls are i know what balls are and i know what pickles oh i love me some pickles and chips i ain't never heard of no damn pickleball now how the fuck you play that that's what i said in my head but when she admitted that okay he's doing good he's playing pickleball in my head i was just like okay i'm glad that he is doing good why did people feel that they needed more of an explanation this is what y'all get weird this is where y'all get a little weird for me because why did y'all feel like y'all needed a full out explanation medical records okay violating hippo why did y'all feel like y'all needed to know this man's full diagnosis huh now a lot of people said okay he had a stroke he had at least four movies coming out and and later on in this video i'm gonna touch on they clone tyrone on netflix love 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 that movie but i'm gonna touch on that a little bit later okay so they said it was a lot of different reasons a lot of conspiracy theories a lot of theories a lot of things that y'all said y'all said it was a stroke y'all said it was a heart attack y'all said that he was faking it to get out of a court case and i'm not going to get in the particulars about that court case but look it up i said all of this stuff y'all also said they cloning him cloning him now I, I love babies i loves me a good conspiracy theory you know what i mean but for me there is even a um a line for me in the sand when it comes to conspiracy theories right um i'm just trying to figure out for some people not all people right because you might want to know hey is he okay we all obviously wanted to know hey is this man okay is the jamie fox okay we don't want to lose the jamie fox we have lost too many greats in our community we don't want to lose jamie what is happening where is he what is happening he they said he was at the best we have facility in chicago um some people even came out and say yeah he's really there now y'all gonna run up and 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 lose y'all drop y'all jobs you about to lose your job 
we didn't want it to go that far okay so y'all came up with all these things but what made it weird for me is the people that were really just saying well we have a right to know like how are you going to get the public that worried and leave us in the dark on what's happening to him is he dead is he alive is he on tubes all of this stuff like how can you ask us to pray for him we pray and you tell us he's doing good just to not tell us what happened to him i think those prayers are weird now i'm gonna break that down for you i think those people are kind of weird when they mix throw prayer into it right let me just tell you something if a person says pray for me right and 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 you you genuinely want the best for them why do you need to ask questions on what you're praying for if they say hey please keep my family in prayer keep them in prayer why do you have to know the details and then why do you feel like and this is what i said on facebook why do y'all feel like because y'all prayed or sent a virtual prayer or sent a virtual heart boop, 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 on beyonce's internet why do you feel like you're for, uh, that person is forever indebted to you. You're forever indebted to that person. Like, why do you feel like that person owes you their life and you deserve to know all of their personal uh, 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 business and personal details all because you prayed? You prayed for them. To me, that's not a prayer. See, a lot of y'all be pr praying on people's downfall. Y'all really be wanting people to pass away. A lot of y'all be praying on people's downfall because that just doesn't make sense to me. We prayed that he would get better and that he will recover and that he would not pass away. He recovered. He did not pass away. And he's on the journey to healing. Whatever healing and being a better person physically, mentally, and emotionally looks like to him. We pray for that. And y'all still saying, I pray for him. I deserve, y'all really be praying. Y'all really be working for the Satan. Y'all really be praying on people downfall. Y'all don't want to see the person live. Because it's clicks and views, it's shits and giggles. Because there's no way that I could pray for a person to recover, a person to do well. They're doing well. And I go, what the fuck you doing well? Who told you to do well? why are you doing well tell me in detail uh-huh why you chose to do well how you chose to do well see save your prayers that's why i don't get on beyonce's internet and i don't ever say pray for my family because you you don't know if people are truly praying for your downfall because that way of thinking really doesn't make sense to me now let's see a clip of we saw jamie on the yacht let's see he finally i think it was at 12 a.m when uh they cloned tyrone hit netflix and i think he did a live soon as it had hit netflix or right before it hit netflix and he showed us because seeing him on the yacht seeing him do play bowling seeing him in an outing was not enough for y'all now jamie fox has never really ever been the type to publicly put his business out on front street he's always been a private person so now you're asking a private person that has always been private for the most of his career we did not really know jamie's personal business and how he navigated his personal life unless he told us it's always been private you asking a private person to now be public okay anyway let's get into what he had to say when he finally decided to reach out to y'all and show his face and for a lot of y'all it still wasn't enough <laughs> jamie uh, give up your kidneys give up your heart give up a liver maybe then they, they'll i don't know child let's look at the video thought i would never ever go through go through i went to hell and back 
and my road to recovery uh, had some potholes as well, but um, I'm, uh, I'm, 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 I'm coming back and uh, I'm able to work. Wanting to hear updates, but to be honest with you, I just didn't want you to see me like that, man. You know, I want you to see me laughing, having a good time, partying, cracking a joke, doing a movie, television show. I didn't want you to see me with, uh, with tubes. Uh, running out of me and and trying to figure out uh, if if I was gonna make it through. As you can see, the eyes are working. The eyes are working just fine. Uh, I said I was paralyzed. I'm not paralyzed. And man, you know, I know they talk about people crying on videos. You know, you could do take two, but I'm not gonna do a take two. This is, it is what it is. And if you see me out. Uh, from now on and every once in a while I just burst into tears is because um, it's been tough man I was sick man but now I got my legs out, uh, under me so you're gonna see right that. so for me when I saw this video okay like I told you earlier I love a good conspiracy theory I live for some of you conspiracy girls okay especially with a good receipt um I've learned not to allow my mind to wander or really judge people's health, especially after chat with Bozeman. I know I get on here on Beyonce's internet and I run my, my, my mouth a lot and I laugh. I be kikiing with y'all all day, making funny skits and all that. But when it comes to certain subjects, especially when it comes to people's health, we did the same thing with Chadwick Bozeman who we actually lost when he came on and was actually in the process of filming a movie and he, he did a video and we saw how skinny he was. Y'all crack jokes? I know for me, I didn't crack jokes. I automatically assumed he was preparing for a certain role. I did not crack jokes. I just said, you know what? Wow, he must be preparing for a movie because he never came out and said he was sick. We never knew. He gave us movie after movie after movie. And we never knew this whole time that for many, like for a long time, he was battling with cancer. I just don't understand how we get sad and we low-key as viewers as fans as as consumers as customers um as other entertainers and, and and inspired folks how we mourn the loss of a lot of these entertainers and praying for the families and all of that and then when someone else comes along with a similar story or a similar appearance we totally forget about thoughts and prayers it's weird. <laughs> Y'all is weird. <laughs> the girls are weird. The girls are really weird. So when I saw Jamie, I just thought, wow, like, he definitely lost a lot of weight. A lot of people say, oh, you know, it seemed like he was bleaching his skin. I personally took it as lighting. I took it as lighting and maybe a filter. Um, and lighting in a filter could be because anything, it, it could be many different reasons. He maybe didn't want to show his skin or that was just what was the, the that's what the phone was given. Um, because I know now with this light that I, I look a lot lighter than I am in person and the, the, depending on the graphics and the edits, I might look even lighter. I might look darker. So sometimes that's just what it's given. I don't think that he bleached his skin. I don't know why he was in a hospital. So I can't sit here and make up a story. It could have been different reasons. Conspiracy theories could be right. But I just... This whole cloning thing, though. I, I side I that i also side eye people saying well i prayed i deserve to know and now making a big deal because now he's alive and it's still not enough for you because you prayed for him so what were you praying for exactly share that with the crap class <laughs> share that with the group of us P put it in the group chat what exactly were you praying for as it pertains to this man huh 
So a lot of people said, oh, what a coincidence. He was just um, pushing who claimed Tyrone. And it seemed like Jamie was really being his usual self, cracking jokes. It also appeared that he really, really wanted to cry and was really having like an emotional moment, an emotional uh, breakdown. And he also touched on the whole cloning thing that he is not cloned and we might want to throw that part out like you know i could see the possible court case i could see other things um but the cloning and and the fake prayers and sorrows is it, it that was really girls y'all okay um so i also admired how he really thanked his kids and he thanked his sister for keeping it on the low keeping it on the hush hush and not sharing his diagnosis or what he's going through with other people i don't know about y'all but i just wanted him to be alive and well whatever recovery or wherever he was at in his recovery process leave it to god leave it to him and god whatever god you serve um but I'm just happy that he's okay. And if it was to promote the movie, then it was to promote the movie. It is what it is. So let's, speaking of the movie, Who Cloned Tyrone? I just want to say that I'm on my way to watch it for a second time. It was a good damn movie. It gave me like the cousin of, a, it was like the cousin film of like a Jordan Peele film. You know what I mean? But then it was like Jordan Peele and Spike Lee vibes. Um, as far as filmmaking is concerned. I live, 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 baby for the acting. The acting was superb on point shut your mouth if you ain't like this damn movie so the movie on netflix they clean they cloned tyrone right is with john boyega i don't know if i was saying child <laughs> i'm not good at pronouncing pronunciation i ain't good at pronouncing names tiana paris and jamie fox john boyega was the drug dealer in the movie now disclaimer this might be a spoiler alert Okay, so if you want to click off and come back, like like this video, share it, put the notifications, the bell button on for notifications. You can go ahead and watch it and come back or just be prepared for a spoiler alert. Okay, so John Boyega, which actually I love, love, love the fact that John can turn his accent on and off and he does it so effortless, effortless. F girl, you can't talk effortless, effortlessly. Effort, child. remix, Mickey, Mickey, Mickey. and he does it better than a lot of um, other actors with accents. He's like one of the best that really knows how to do it. So he plays a drug dealer, Tiana Paris plays uh, the whore. We like a good whore, honey. And Jamie Foxx plays her pimp. <clears throat> so, John is going around, at, you know, doing the drug dealing thing. And I guess a lot of people was just like, um, oh, you know, the same, the drug dealer, the pimp, and the hoe. And, you know, that's typical of certain black films. Like, beat it, okay? Because those two folks... Uh, those three folks with um those type of careers are the pillar of a lot of our melanated communities we gonna say they're not we gonna say they don't exist because they do but anyway so they then realized that tyrone which uh, John's name is Fontaine. I don't know why I love that name. It reminds me of like orange soda or something. Yeah. Um, Fontaine actually was shot. Then he later realizes that 
they are running an experiment in the ghetto in the hood they're running an experiment and they got some underground tunnels and bunkers and labs and they are cloning the people and running an experiment they put in the powder and 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 doing these case studies on blacks they're putting the powder in the perms they're putting it in the grape drink they putting it in the fried chicken they putting it in a beer they putting it in everything in the hood they even <clears throat> in one of the scenes you see them going to church uh you know how they have crackers and 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 grape juice now everybody in church is turned out off of this powder and they doing the case studies in the church they, they're doing it at the strip club they doing it at the local fried chicken joint and they're monitoring how black folks act under this substance um they actually cloned him so it was a good 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 film so they're going around and they're trying to figure out okay what the hell is going on they don't broke into one lab and shoot the guy then they realize it's a, it's a it was a lot of white guys with afros that was behind running these experience experiment or mixed biracial folks with afros running these experiments so then it was just good it was so good how they went up in the church i don't know if some of y'all have seen it they went up in the church and then they realized there was a whole lab in the church there was a whole bunker in the damn church where they was running the test like these labs these underground tunnels was everywhere so i felt like it it really for me like the tuskegee um airmen exp the tuskegee experiment um just how you know it was in the foods for them i don't really know too much about cloning and the conspiracy theories behind that or what y'all personally feel you know comment below and definitely let me know what you think but i do feel like it's a lot of stuff that they do put in the foods. It's a lot of stuff that they do put in the perms. Now, it's like if you had a perm 35 years ago, you are entitled to compensation. These perms are now causing ovarian cancer and breast cancer. And you just going to flat out die. Now, you can get compensation. And it was, it was like, this whole time y'all been trying to kill us with the Just For Me perms. Baby they do put it in the foods now you know these pesticides and stuff like that so a lot of the movie has some truth to it the movie definitely had some truth to it how poor people in inner cities really don't have they're making it a lot accessible now but they really don't have a lot of healthier options in certain inner cities with a whole lot of populated melanated folks they don't always have healthier options they don't have access to healthier options so they're given a lot of stuff you look at the ingredients the shit don't make no sense okay but i love the movie and if you have not seen the movie please go see the movie um that was my video for the day you could take it you could leave it you could dash it away i really don't care you can comment below let me know what you guys think just make it respectful we can agree to disagree you know what i'm saying i'm always up for a good educated discussion dialogue whatever you want to call it but i am glad that jamie is alive and is still dealing with his recovery process whatever that might look like to him but he owes us nothing and i think the least we could do is definitely support the movie acting was a one the way the energy and the way they were really feeding off of each other the acting was superb not one person david allen Greer, i think was in it not one person 
didn't know how to act. Everybody, top notch, the acting. I'm really big on acting when it comes to movies and the cinematography, juxtaposition. I'm really big on both of those things. So A1, if you have not seen a movie, please go and see the movie. And if you love Jamie and you've been praying for him, run up the numbers on the movie. Support him. Okay, well, y'all just be, y'all just be uh, fake praying with your Fisher Price prayers. Anyway, let me get out of here, y'all. Bye.